Hi, I'm Kristen Bird for Red Carpet Report, and we are here for day two of the Creative Arts Emmys. Yeah! There you go. Winner, winner, winner! I'm so happy for you. Thank you! All right. I'm so happy for you. That's what you meant to say. That's what I meant to say, but I don't sing well, so. Yes, you do. <laughs> Promise. Sing with enthusiasm, and you're golden. I'm so happy for you! We did it! <laughs> we never got you in the show, I'm sorry. I tried so hard to be like extra number 143. <laughs> you gotta get an extra agent. I do need to get an extra agent. I, I should have just slid into your DMs yeah, is what I should have. have. Exactly. Yeah. But this is kind of fun. This is kind of where we started four years ago. And here we are. And you've got book and Emmys. Exactly. How nutty is that? And you know, I do remember your first win, which was exciting a little unexpected, um, you coming down the the escalator and like, oh my god, I do, I have such a vivid memory of that. Oh, that's so wonderful. I remember seeing you and Barry from the Academy. I was like, Barry, you're here, I won. She was like, I know, I work the Academy. I was like, right, 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 I am new to this. I'll figure it out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got whisked away and like, mom and dad are here with me again. I remember your mom like waving. Hey, hi, hi, good to see you. This fun? I, this is fun. I said bookends. We got the bookend yeah, Emmys. So now we can do workouts. She'll teach me a few things. So yeah. good. Start of the series, end of the series. It's, it's really what a wonderful. special time, honestly. So and I'm so glad that Adam and Jack and Rachel won too. Because I, I, I can't choreograph good work if there isn't good work to choreograph to. That's right. I mean, maybe I could. I don't know. Listen, you know, but, but having this, like, we're so symbiotic with the song and dance. And the dance has to serve the story. And they have to write something that says they should dance. Because there are certain times where they're like, no, no dancing. I'm like, oh, okay. But you know what I, I love is that people sometimes don't understand choreography and scripted programming. And now that we have this category, um, and now that you've been able to create dances around mental health I know. Um, and, and create something that's very meaningful for a lot of people. It really is. It's wonderful. And I think, especially with antidepressants, are so not a big deal. Having it be the inaugural winner of scripted choreography is it's like, this is what good, great musical comedy for TV can be. And it's an earned dance break. And same with Don't Be a Lawyer, which was the other number. It was like, if you're, if you're so confident, confidently saying don't be a lawyer, of course you're going to break out in like a 90s hip hop and hit it really, really hard. Of course. So, uh, law school would be a lot more fun if people just randomly danced in it. <laughs> I, I, well, my friend went through law school recently, and, and she's trying to pass the bar. It's not fun. Has she seen the video yet? I need to send it to her yeah. because I don't think she watched the series, but she needs to. It's on YouTube. On Rachel's, I think. Okay, I'm going to go and, and send it to her for sure. Um, and I also love that all of Rachel and Jack's work and uh, really pushed your muscles as a choreographer because every week was something different. Every season had a different tone to it. That's not easy. No, exactly. And it's like my team always changed because I really wanted it to be authentic for the scene, right? So if, if a beautiful ballerina might not be right for the 90s hip hop dance, obviously. And I got to bring in the people that are the best at what they do, right? So like when we did like an old school jazz, I got to bring in people that had been touring on Broadway for years, doing this like Jack Cole jazz or doing like, they did bossy, you know, so I got to bring in the best tap dancers or in, in um, antidepressants or so not a big deal. Like Melinda Sullivan assisted, who's an amazing tap dancer and Lou Becker. And then for Don't Be a Lawyer, Brittany Perry Russell assisted, who like danced with all the legends of the 90s, and that was such a gift. What is next for you? What's your next big challenge? Well, my biggest challenge that I haven't done yet that's coming up, I've just been having meetings, is I'm choreographing Hollywood Week for Dancing with the Stars, the opening number. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm speechless because <laughs> I'm really excited. The premiere is tomorrow. Do you know what week Hollywood week is? Three. 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 Uh, this is really exciting, too, because Mandy has moved on to an NBC show, which we're looking forward to. And this opens opportunities for, for people like you, too, to yeah. come in and showcase your skill. Yeah, and they want it to be funny and irreverent. And I was like, oh, good, I got that. Um, and then I have some other fun scripted shows that are out, Why Women Kill. I get to work with Lucy Liu, who's amazing. Yep. And then I got to work on The Morning Show. So there's a number coming out, surprise, and that. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> a little <laughs> Apple TV getting yes. it, serving us up that, that's great. Also, First Wives Club, BET streaming, there's all these big streaming shows now. Uh, this is so good. It's I'm great. like, onward and upward. It's good so for fun. you. I, well, I feel like, I just feel like this was a wonderful cap to our Emmys experience together, the two yeah. KVs. I, I was, I love it. And you know, this is the best way to go to the Emmys, you know you won. Yeah, but, but now the pressure's on for the speech, so really honestly wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck, and I'm going to see you at Dancing with the Stars in a few weeks. Oh, yes! Yes, yes definitely. Congratulations. Bye, son. So proud.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite television moment was this year.